Number 10, Zagreb, Croatia. Leon Radosevic of Sabona attacks the basket and flies high to record a monster two-handed dunk over Joe Ingles of Regal FC Barcelona. What a way for Sabona to finish the first half of this exciting matchup. Number nine, Vilnius, Lithuania. Brad Newley of Litovos Ritas back from an injury rises high to get this big block against center U Savas of Fenerbahce Ulker. Not in my house. Number eight, Milan, Italy. Game tied at 64-64. Ibi Jaber of Armani Jeans runs the game clock down and buries the go-ahead three-pointer in front of Jamon Gordon of Ceska with just 10.4 seconds left. The crowd goes crazy as Jabber led Milano to get a critical win in Group D. Number 7, Athens, Greece. Mike Batista of Panathinaikos has this outstanding block on Seri Lischuk's dunk attempt. Unbelievable. Power Electronics Valencia, however, escaped with a good as gold road win. Number six, Dinia Poland. Bobby Brown of Aseco Procom picks up a long pass from Daniel Ewing and rises for a wild two-handed dunk over Zoran Planinich of Chimki. Brown helped Procom to get its first win of the Euroleague season and rejoined the top 16 race in competitive Group A. Number five, Belgrade, Serbia. James Gist of Partizan Belgrade stops Mirza Begic of Zalgidis with a huge block off the glass. Partizan, backed by its outstanding crowd, grabbed its third straight win in Group A. Number four, Bamberg, Germany. Kyle Hines of Rose Basket sends the crowd to their feet with a huge tomahawk dunk over Luigi Datome of Lotomatica Roma. Stay tuned to see how the game ended up. You won't be disappointed. Number three, back to Belgrade. Oliver Lafayette of Partizan sends a no-look pass to Jan Vesely, who grabs it in the air for a one-handed alley-oop dunk. Partizan moved up to 4-2 in difficult Group A. Number two, back to Zagreb. Ricky Rubio of Regal FC Barcelona collects a steal and sends an outstanding no-look pass to Fran Vasquez, who detonates a big slam. Barcelona beats Sabona to stay strong in Group C. And the number one play of the week. Back to Bamberg with just 1.2 seconds left, and the hosts up by two. Charles Smith of Lokomatica Roma receives the inbound pass in the right corner, turns around and beats the buzzer with an unbelievable game-winning three-pointer. What an outstanding shot. Lokomatica returned home with a key road win, and we will return with more outstanding plays next week. Quiet layoff to another standout season as one of basketball's great six men. Ksistov Lavrinovic of Montepaschi Siena stood out with his best game of the season so far on Wednesday to lead his team to an important road win and to secure Sporting Bed Week 6 MVP honours. Lavrinovic had his highest scoring game since the opening night of last season with 23 points plus 8 rebounds, 2 steals and 10 fouls drawn for a career-high performance index rating of 36. His superlative effort helped Siena beat Cholet Basquet, 61-70 on the road, to remain tied for the best record, 5-1 in Group C. His index rating also ties Sporting Bed Week 4 MVP, Bernie Rodriguez of Unicaja, for the best of any player this season. Kristof Lavrinovic, Sporting Bed Week 6 MVP.
Thursday night in EuroLeague was open with a spectacular road win by Regal FC Barcelona, who stunned Sibona 94-75. Despite 26 points from Boyan Bogdanovic, the visitors dominated the game, remaining in front for the entire 40 minutes thanks to Ricky Rubio, who stole the show with 18 points, 4 steals and 4 assists, well assisted by Joe Ingles with 16. The reigning champs improved to 4-2 in Group C. At the Waka Stadium, Power Electronics Valencia caused a big shock, beating Panathinaikos 73-69 in round 6 of Group D. The Spanish side overtook the Greens in the final quarter. Nando Di Colo and Dusko Savanovic were the key men for coach Zvetislav Pezic. Romain Sato scored 19 points in the losing effort for the Greek powerhouse. Efes Pielsen improved to 4-2 in Group D by downing Union Olympia 84-78 in a classic Istanbul thriller. The game saw as many as eight lead changes in the first quarter with red-hot Igor Rakocevic allowing the host to get a 22-16 lead. But Ilyevsky and Co. stormed back and Olympia rolled back into contention just after the break with outstanding shots by Shermadini and Jagodnik. However, the Turkish squad used its three-point skill to inch ahead and seal the outcome in crunch time. Automatico Roma will remember this night at the Stecher Arena at Bamberg for a long time. A miraculous triple from Charles Smith in the last 1.5 seconds rewarded the Italian team with a 68-67 success. The Spider-Man scored 16 points, supported by Darius Washington with 17 points. Rosie Vasquez managed 15 from Casey Jacobson. Brian Roberts, who scored the 67-65, which only deluded the German crowd, rolled 13. Viru Charlois won its second game this season at home, this time 79-74 against Unicaja at RTL Spirodome. After 30 minutes on an even keel, Daniel Santiago pushed the host ahead by sinking two three-point plays in a row. The Puerto Rican center amassed 15 points and 8 rebounds in 21 minutes on the court, while Demon Mallet contributed with 21. For Unicaja, Joel Freeland notched up 14 points. Real Madrid got a crucial win 82-68 against Olympiacos Pereos at Caja Magica Arena to draw level with the Greek team in Group B with a 4-2 record. The men from the Spanish capital produced an outstanding defensive effort, keeping the visitors at 36% from two points and a measly 25% outside the arc. The best scorers for Messina's team were Sergio Rodriguez with 19 points and 6 assists. Sergio Lul with 16 points, both with clutch shots in the third and fourth quarter. Olympiacos was led by Milos Teodosic with 21 points. In front of a sold-out Pioneer Arena, Partizan defeated Zalgiris 68-62 to improve to a 4-2 record in Group A. Jovanovic's side was led by an impressive Dragan Milos Aljevilic, who posted 19 points with some wonderful baskets. And by James Gist's all-round game, 9 points, 8 rebounds and 4 assists. Mirza Begic shone for the Lithuanian team with 19 points and 5 rebounds. However, saving the tiebreaker advantage for the visitors in the finale with a crucial triple. Tonight, Turkish Airlines Euroleague clubs, players, coaches and referees are showing their dedication and collaboration with disabled athletes by supporting the Special Olympics. Fenerbahce Ulka rediscovered that winning feeling at the Siemens Arena by defeating Letovos Ritas 81-75 to improve to a 5-1 record atop Group C. The Turkish team led the game from the start, 
and flew away in the third quarter. Standing head and shoulders above the rest, Rocco Leni Ukic, 24 points for him, and August Savas, who's posted 16 points and 5 rebounds. On the Lithuanian front, the good performances from Cemal Nalga, 14 points and 8 rebounds, and Saras Jazikevicius, 12 points and 8 assists, weren't enough to avoid the defeat. In Gdynia, Aseko Procom grabbed his first victory of the regular season by edging out BC Kimki Moscow region 71-67 after a finely balanced match to keep his hopes of qualification alive. The final period proved key to the Polish side as this was when Radko Varda scored all his 14 points, ably assisted by Daniel Ewing, 13, and Filip Vedinov, 12. As for BC Kimki, Keith Langford scored 17 points for the losing cause. In Group C, Montipaschi Siena stopped the impressive run of Cholet Basquet, overcoming the French team 70-61 at Le Maillerais. Very little separated the two sides until the end of the third period. Then Kristof Lavrinovic broke the rhythm of the match early in the fourth. 23 points and 8 rebounds for him, supported by Boma Kaleb, who scored 14 points. Cholet's standout performances, 15 points and 9 rebounds from Antoine Robinson and 14 plus 9 from Sami Meja. Armani Jeans Milano clinched a narrow victory over Seska 71-65 to record its third win in six games, but the first one at home. The defeat has put the Russians in a very tricky position with a 1-5 record. It was a close game for 40 minutes, both teams exchanging the lead throughout, all the way to 64-64 with only a few seconds remaining. Then up stepped Jaber with a triple to decide the game to reach a personal tally of 18, the top scorer. A great second half also by Mancinelli, 15 points for him all after the break. Gordon, 16 points, was the best player for Seska.